Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw the two internal tangent lines of two given circles. Here you can see two given circles with center points O1 and radius R1 and with center points O2 and radius R2. So the first step is to join the center points O1 to O2. The next step is to work out the perpendicular bisector of the line O1, O2. So to do this, we set our compass slightly longer than half the distance and we describe an arc to the right, as can be seen here. And now with the same radius and setting our compass on point O2, We describe another arc to the left, cutting our previously drawn arc at two points. And now, where these two arcs intersect, we're going to join them using a line. And where it cuts the line 0102 will be the midpoint M. Okay, so now setting our compass on M and with the radius M01, we're going to draw a circle which passes through both origins, O1 and O2, as can be seen here. So next we are going to add radiuses R1 to radius R2. But before we do this, we are going to draw a ray from point O1 at any angle. And this ray must be longer than the addition of these two radius as can be seen here. So now setting our compass to the length of radius R2, we're going to transport it to the intersection point of the ray with the circle, as can be seen here. And where it cuts the ray is going to be our new radius R1 plus R2. So now setting our compass on O1 and radius R1 plus R2, we will draw another external circle as shown here. This new circle intersects with the previously drawn circle in the middle at two points, which we will call P and Q. So the next step is to join points O1 with P and where it cuts the internal circle will be our first internal tangent point, which we will call T1. And now, we will draw a parallel line from this line from point O2, but in the other direction, obtaining our second internal tangent point, T2, as can be seen here, where it touches the outside of the circle, will be the second tangent point, T2. So now we are going to draw the internal tangent line passing through points T1 and T2. And now we will repeat this process on the other side. So we're going with a ruler, we're going to join O1 to point Q. And where it passes through the internal circle will be our tangent point three. And now we're going to draw a parallel line to this from O2 in the other direction until it touches the outside of our smaller given circle obtaining tangent point four. So now we're going to join tangent point three to tangent point four, our second internal tangent line, as can be seen here. Okay, so we're going to check for perpendicularity and mark the, the angles with the symbols of parallelism. Okay, so you can see everything is parallel and everything have 90 degree angles. We can check what our 90 degree set square, as you can see here. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you. Please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Until the next time.